On behalf of the local Shia Muslim community, Hosseini Society of Victoria strongly condemns the recent act of dreadful, unprovoked and cowardly act on a pregnant Muslim woman in a cafe of Sydney, New South Wales. We also express our solidarity with the innocent victim and her family. We pray for their well-being and quick recovery from this disturbing and traumatizing experience. The motive of the assault seems to be Islamophobic, since according to reports the inhuman and vicious attacker was yelling anti-Muslim speech before the attack. It is necessary that these outrageous acts must be prevented. Therefore, we strongly urge law enforcing agencies to deal with such perpetrators in a stern and inflexible way, and they should feel the full force of justice system. It is very important for everyone and in particular for the general Australia, Australian public to know the causes of spread of Islamophobia. It will be very challenging to tackle the menace of Islamophobia unless its root causes are addressed. The general public is subject to a dis disinformation campaign against Islam and Muslims by certain elements and some media groups. The awareness is prevented from the public. The barbaric and brutal groups such as Al-Qaeda, ISIS and Taliban have nothing to do with Islamic teachings. It is desired from the young people to seek out their own independent understandings of Islam. It is necessary after many attempts were made in the last 20 years to place this great religion in the seat of a horrifying enemy. Study and research the incentives behind this widespread tarnishing of the image of Islam. In reaction to the flood of prejudgments and disinformation campaign, try to gain a direct and first-hand knowledge of this religion. The right logic requires that you understand the nature and essence of what they are frightening you about and want you to keep away from. Receive knowledge of Islam from its primary and original sources. Gain information about Islam through the Quran and the life of its great prophet. I would like to ask you whether you have directly read the Quran of the Muslims? Have you studied the teachings of the Prophet of Islam and his humane ethical doctrines? Have you ever received the message of Islam from any sources other than the media?